So now let's start with sum number 2. Here we have 4 terms. This one, this one, this one and this one. As plus and minus are the separators. So here we have 4 terms. Now what we need to do is we need to take 2 to pair of terms together. So we will take this one and this one together. So we will write 5xy. Here we have minus so minus 6x. This is 1 pair and we will put a plus here and we will write 5y minus 2 as another pair. Now our step will be to take the common factors. So 15 can be written as 3 into 5 and 6 can be written as 2 into 6. If you want you can write this one like this. 3 into 5 that is the prime factorization of 15 into x into y minus 6 means 2 into 3 into x. So we have just written like this plus here we have 5, 5 is the prime number so it will be as it is y we have so y minus 2 is the prime number so like this. So now what you need to see is here what is common here as you can see here also 3 is there here also 3 is there so 3 is common here x is there here x is there so another x we can take common but here no other thing is common so here we will be left with 5 and y that is 5y. Minus here we have taken 3x so we will be left with 2. So this is left over here plus here what is left over as you can see we don't have anything common. We have 5 here here we have 2 here we have y here we don't have y means nothing is common. Nothing is common means always 1 will be common that means if we don't have any common factor always remember we can divide any number by 1 that means 1 is always the common factor of any number. So so here we can take 1 common so you will be left with 5y here and 2 as it is. This one is into okay not x. So here as you can see here we have 5y minus 2 here also 5y minus 2. So we can take this one as common 5y minus 2. So what will be left over here? Here is left over 3x and here we have plus as the divider plus and here we have 1. So this is our final answer.